I get it how I live it. I live it how I get it. Come to and get it. I pull it with a lemon. Not cause she ain't living. It's just your eyes get acidic. And this ain't a scrimmage. We ain't finished. I told you we won't stop. And by the business. Like yours, but you're renting. Where's our level to the top? Okay, guys, so we've already done her brows here. We've up, I've applied the Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade and dark brown, which we will list all of the products below. I've already done her eyebrows and um, I've already concealed. I've concealed with the Tarte Shape Contour Concealer and Tan Sand, which is my ultimate favorite concealer, one of my favorite concealers. Um, so we've already done the eyebrows and she has very, very thick eyebrows. So, um, I just went in and filled them in kind of lightly and I concentrated more underneath her eyebrows to conceal it, to make it more shapely. Cause as I've already said, she has really, really thick eyebrows. So, um, we didn't really, I didn't want to put too much attention on them. So I just wanted to just shape them and make them, um, kind of pop out more. So next we're going to go into um, taking, she has a little bit of um, pigmentation here from some acne, so we're just like every other girl has. So we're just going to take a little bit of color corrector, which is um, LA Girl, and I'm just going to apply this on her pigmented area so that way it doesn't show up. We want a flawless look um, underneath her um, foundation. And then either with the brush or a sponge, you can just blend that out. I just take a brush and I just blend out that way. And again, you don't have to do this step but we want a flawless look, so we're gonna go for this step. Just taking my beauty blender, I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit more. So I'm getting ready to apply her foundation. Um, before I do that, I'm going to take my foundation brush and I'm going to spray it with my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus, this. And this just helps the um, foundation, set the foundation a little bit more and stay in place. I'm going to be mixing two different foundations. Um, because I like the consistency of one and then the other one is kind of like a natural um, finish so I kind of want to combine both of them with the look that we're going for. You don't have to do this, this is optional, but you can bring it down a little bit down your neck so it doesn't just look like you just have makeup on your face like it's blended in.
And normally, like, if you're going out, like, to, like, on a date or something like that, or if you just want to, like, have a beat face, um, for any, like, night occasions, I would normally do my, my eyes first. But this look, we're just going for, like, a little soft glam, kind of cute, um, brunch look. So we won't really do too much, um, eyeshadow or anything on the... Um, eyes. We're going to just be concentrating mostly on just the face and having a flawless application because we want it to look like she's not even wearing any makeup. But at the same time, honey, we want to slay. Okay. Next, we want to go in um, with our Beauty Blender. And a lot of people, I would say this step is optional. Some people skip this, this step. But if you want that flawless, flawless uh, look, then you, you may want to do this step. Take your Beauty Blender and go in and just pat, simply patting the foundation into your skin. What this does is it makes the foundation blend in a little bit more into your face. So again, it's giving you that flawless look. It's giving you that. You gotta guess if I got on makeup, honey, cause that's how flawless we're trying to get this application to look. So it looks like you just wear your skin with just a little glow. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. Okay, now next I'm going to put some concealer on her eyelids and I'm going to um, apply her eyeshadow. Now, like I said, we're going to go for a little glam, uh, soft glam, so we're not going to be concentrating too much on her eyes. You can either use the eye primer or you can use concealer. I like to use concealer because it blends, um, it blends smoothly and it just, to me, gives a little better look than... Uh, eye primer. Everybody's like, when I first, like, some people on my Snapchat are like, how come you won't do, like, makeup on yourself? And I'm like, I will eventually, but I think, like, when I first started wanting to do YouTube, I started seeing, like, everybody does, like, makeup on them, on their self. So I kind of wanted to be, like, different from doing that and just do it, like, on an actual model. If you think about it, like you really honestly do see a lot of people on YouTube that does make up for themselves. So then I'm going to go in with some powder. With, and this is the Lori, um, Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm just going to set that concealer. And that's just going to hold it in place. Because you don't want that to go anywhere. Because this is going to be the base for our, for our eyeshadow. So yeah, we're just going to go in with this burnt orange from the Anastasia. 
They're a really moderate Renaissance palette. And sometimes it can leave a little bit of fallout. going to use this as our transition color. All over the lid. Then I'm going to take the Jacqueline Hill palette and I think I'm going to use this brown here. So again, we're not going for like the club uh, look, we're just doing like a little soft, kind of like a mini glam, I would say, for the day, or like if she's going to a brunch or a business meeting. Or a day with her man during the day. This palette is like incredible. I'm so glad I bought this because like the color pigmentation in it is like to die for. This is a really pretty and then it has like a whole bunch of like variety of colors to choose. I like it. It's really pretty. So like I said, we're not gonna get too, too funky with her eyes. Just enough glam. So I'm just gonna do like a little pop of color. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of color here. And if you really, really want it to be like intenser, you can spray your brush with uh, Fix Plus or whatever set and spray you have. And then it'll make it pop more. Moving right along, we're going to take a little bit of highlighter and put it at the arch of your eyebrow just to make it pop a little bit. And Moving on along, I'm going to take some concealer. So I'm just going to take um, our concealer. I'm 
this is where we're going to conceal. And just bringing light to And this part right here, you want to make sure that we're blending it really, really good. Blending is key. Then we want to go ahead and set our concealer. If we, if we can get it to come out. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? Come out. Okay, look up. And you want to put powder everywhere you, um, Put the con wherever you put the concealer so that it can set it. Contour her nose. So I'm just going to go in with my Beauty Blender and blend that out. So it doesn't have any like a harsh line. Now we're going to take our foundation stick, and this is by Bobbi Brown and Cool Walnut. Do you like this for me? Just going in and blending out. Kind of 
contour. And this is important too. You want to take your beauty blender and go back over those areas that you contoured so it doesn't look like you have like a harsh contour. You want to set that? Studio finish powder and just set it, set everything that we just did. And spray your face, close your eyes. I'm just going to set the makeup so that doesn't go anywhere. Put a little bit of blush on and highlight. And it's good to put it on too while the, the set and spray is still kind of wet. That way it can just saturate. Eyeliner on the top. Some gel liner. And then our eyelashes and then we're done. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit on the bottom. Alright, look at me. Next, we're going to put on your lashes and some lipstick and we're done. together. Look up over your eyes. Try not to blink.
open. Open your eyes, Mom.